to an optical desk or create a bootable USB flash drive. Insert the USB to the computer. Open the PC then power on the CPU. While booting, just press the LED continuously. Press the LED to go to the BIOS. This is the BIOS look like. The user's computer brand is Acer, so if you have the same with his PC brand, then that's how it looks. So, we will now install the Windows 10. But before that, uh, you have to check this first. Go to the boot. Click it then in the boot option. You can see the boot option priorities. You only need to set the boot option 1. Then, go to the boot override. When you click the boot override, it will automatically boot everything even if you set things lately in option 1. In the video, you can see that the brand of the USB installer is SanDisk. So for you, whatever the brand of the installer is, it can be seen there. So, let's click the installer. As you can see, this will open. There are two that are set because the USB installer was set into 32 and 64 bit. In your case, if your installer is only one, for example 64, it will directly go to the installation. So let's click the 64 gig installer, just press enter. Then the installation process will start. Then, this will open after we click the 64-bit option. As you can see, there are language, time currency, and input. Always English, so by default, just click Next. Then, there are two options that will be chosen. The Install Now. Or repair your computer. That repair your computer is used if there is only a minor problem that is repairable and used to recover important files on your previous operating system. Then install is used if you don't have any important files and you really want to change your operating system into Windows 10 that will be installed in your computer. So our purpose is installing Windows 10, so let's proceed into install now. This one, just click I don't have a product key. Let's just activate it later after we install the Windows 10. Then this one, you can see that there are many types of Windows 10. There is Windows Home, Windows Home 1, etc. I highly recommend the Windows 10 Pro. So let's click it. Then click Next. Then click the license terms to activate button Next. You can see there are two types of installation. One for upgrading, then the other one is for advanced upgrade. It is used if you have old operating system in your PC. For example, you have the Windows 7, then you want to upgrade it to Windows 10. The custom advance is recommended because in there, you can reformat and partition the hard disk and the Windows is pressed that is installed. So let's click the advance. You can see the partitions in the PC. The PC really has only two partitions, so we have to remove some of it. In the video, you can see that the user have to delete all so that you can see that there is only two hard drive in the PC. 
it's the SSD and the HDD. Take note, don't do this if you have important files that are saved in your drive because it will be permanently deleted. It is better if you back up your files before doing this. It is up to you whether you apply partitions to your drives. Click Next. The process will follow. We will slightly fast forward the process. But don't worry because all of the steps are sensing. Click the Restart now. There just choose on what region you belong. So we are in the Philippines. Click it. Then click Yes. Choose the US keyboard layout. Then click Yes. Just skip this. Click Set up for personal use. If you're using your personal computer, click Next. Here, you can add your Microsoft account if you have one. We'd recommend using a Microsoft account because otherwise, you won't be able to use half of the new feature and you may as well use Linux or stick with the Windows 7. There, click Limited Experience. There, just put your name, for example, Charlene, then click Next. You can provide password. So, by default, let's click Next. Just click No. Then another click to the Accept. Let's wait the setting up of the PC. And now it's done. The Windows 10 is already installed. Once Windows 10 has been installed on your computer, you will be able to customize its settings. Your region, your preferred language, location, settings, etc. Once you finish this process, you will be taken to your computer's desktop. You can also click Express Settings to set up Windows 10 with the recommended settings. That's all.